this is my fault because I, I don't have my pen. So I have it here. But the, the important thing is you've been really nicely introduced um, by, I mean, by Ben Hooks, by, by um, Marisol. And uh, this is going to uh, be, oh, this is going to be dealt with in my OP. Right, so I'm then going to focus on this chapter two, second chapter of the feminism. Feminism is for everybody by Bell Hooks. But just still, I'm, I'm going to focus till the 1970s, right? And um, she said more or less everything, all the, the, the facts that you can find in the, in the, in the chapter. Marisol told us about everything that happened in the 60s and 70s. But, and she introduced us as well, the hooks. But at the same time, this is the young the hooks. <laughs> nice young lady that really wanted to change everything. Well, we were, we've been told that she was Gloria uh, Watson, working, sorry, and she's a distinguished <coughs> professor of English at City College in New York. So if you want to meet her, you can do it if you, if you go to, to New York, or you go to her speeches because she, she travels all, all over the United States. Um, there's one thing that it's a strange in her biography is um, she got she received her uh, bachelor's degree in 73 1973 then her master's degree in uh, 1976 so it's normal but then he her phd she got it in 83 1983 and that's <coughs> What um, she she said, Marisol told us about that a little bit, about that she the 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 these activists had to make um, a choice. So going to the university again to get the doctorates or just um, abandon this this kind of uh, conscious consciousness raising groups. So. Right now, it's 10 years ago, more or less, 15 years ago, and um, she's a feminist thinker. Yes. Her topics are, she's written more than, I think, uh, 60 books. So there are many, many, many words. But her topics are gender, race, teaching, and the significance um, of media for contemporary um, culture. And uh, this is the actual two or three years ago, right? This is the actual bad books. So, a little bit <coughs> radicalized. <laughs> okay, appearance at, le at least. And um, uh, one thing I, I, I have to thank um, our teacher, our dearest teacher, Mm -hmm. is um, Michelle, is uh, the, her first words, her first idea, um, it's written this, uh, that opens this chapter, is we've been hearing, and we've been told again and again by Michelle, is feminists <laughs> are made, not born. So becoming a believer in feminist politics is through two ways, and two both ways. So it's choice and action. First, you need to have the opportunity to see that there's a bunch of ways to choose, and you have to make a choice. And then you need to take an action. You need to, to go step by step, but through the action. And um, as the Marisol told us, the first uh, the, the women first they, they got together, small groups in houses, 
And that was the movement, coach, the, the groups that were, told, were um, uh, called uh, consciousness, the racing groups. So in those groups, women were just healing. It just was the, this raising the voices, telling, because they, they didn't have any voice. So it was just telling each other what happened. So first, they, they had the turn taking uh, technique. So first one, start, they choose um, a topic, start talking, and then that engage another one, and then the third, and then the others. So um, they, they um, were conscious that they accepted the male dominance, but they didn't get the same benefits that the the men would get. The men would get all the, and right now as well, sometimes we can see that in every, in, when we see that male dominance, and when we are aware of that, is that women accepted it as a way of living, but they didn't get the advantages. So men weren't as likely to surrender of, of this dominance. And um, there's, uh, these groups, the leaders, the more activists, that were aware of this, of this problem, they, they knew, well, they knew they, women had to raise their consciousness. Because before changing anything, they need to change themselves. They need to say, I this, I cannot accept it. And this is a way, it's not an end, it's a way. So, it's learning about patriarchy that uh, we can feel that something is not right. It's not that right for women. In those years, they had to make that choice and they had to learn the, the, the women. Of course, there were small groups, where uh, relatives or friends or colleagues at, at work. So this is um, this is one of the pictures I'm going to uh, show you, and the other one. And um, this is um, a, a little bit funny, but I'm going to I'm not going to show you it to you because of the we are running out of time. So I'm going to show you the most important one. Eight minutes. What happened in the, in the late um, 70s was that the activists, they didn't have the doctorate, so they couldn't teach. They couldn't get the same, as, as you mentioned before, they couldn't uh, get the same uh, wages, or they had to work long hours. So the more activists were expelled from the jobs at the universities, and some of them decided to, to commit to to commit to this feminism um, uh, movement at the university to study to go back to sacrifice for the future and for this uh, theory uh, this subject at the university. So Berhut returned to university and she got her her doctorate and. There's another video. I want to, uh, to show you a video from the hooks, but no time as well. So I can post it on the blog okay, if you send it yeah. to me. I wanted, I don't know if uh, we are going to post it <coughs> as well. I wanted to listen to the to my rights by June Jordan, the poem about my rights by her. And uh, but I think it's too late because it's five minutes. <coughs> but we can listen to the poem next day next if day. you like. So it's incredible because she's all these years, all her life in just five minutes, and so powerful. And thank you, Michelle, for letting <laughs> me know. Uh, letting us know. Okay. And last thing I want to 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 tell you is. Just in case you want to get to know more about um, the theology of uh, political activism, women changing the world, this is um, a MOOC. Don't know if you have heard about MOOCs. 
that stands for Massive Open Online Courses. And um, we, we, will, we will send it to you, right? And you, you can watch the, the video, the introduction, that's all, it's free from the best universities in the world. There are many platforms and you can access them so we can, we can prepare an OP about that. Okay, thank you. Excellent, thank you.